In this video, we're gonna be checking out how to create inflated text in Adobe Illustrator. Let's create some text. So I'm using Bubblegum Pop Vanilla, the font from Adobe Fonts. I'm gonna create the word pop in uppercase, make it a little bit bigger. And we need to change the color and I'm gonna use a, quite a light color so you can actually see the effect taking shape. So I've just got the text selected, not even highlighted and within the 3D materials panel, we need to go to this thing called inflate. So I click on inflate and it'll start to make your text 3D. We can change some of these parameters if you wish. I like just to put uh, inflate both sides. Uh, you can change the perspective if you want to make it look a little bit sort of weirder. Uh, just gonna change that just so it looks a little bit crazy and weird really. Uh, change the rotation of it just slightly. And a bit of 3D like that. Right, so I've now got it looking sort of 3D-ish. Next thing we need to do is change the materials. So materials in here, you can change it to all kinds of stuff. The base material is pretty good for when you just want it to be inflated and looking like a balloon, but you can actually change it to all sorts of different stuff in here. You can even change it to stuff like cardboard. And to, to see how it looks, we need to go to this thing, render with ray tracing. If you click on that, you'll actually see a proper render of what it'll look like. So you can then like change this, but it's gonna change the color of it as well. It's not really what we're looking for, but if you wanted to like create a pebble or any other like effects like 3D wise, this is where you do it. But I quite like this, that the base material. So I'm gonna go back to the base material. And as you can see there, with the render switched on, it actually looks not too bad. So switch off and you'll see it looks a little bit grainier, switch it back on and it looks that inflated look. Now I'm going to change the lighting slightly. So I've switched it back off, go to lighting, and we're going to adjust my lighting to get the lighting that I'd like. So what you can do is you can drag this lighting around until it looks how you want it to look. So more exaggerated, a bit like that. Um, you can even change the intensity of the light or less intense. You can rotate the light or how far away the light is or how soft it is, like a soft box, or in, how intense it is. So once you switch it back on, you'll see the effect taking shape. If you'd like to access this Illustrator file with my 3D text, head over to my Patreon account. Also, if you did get something out of this video, remember to share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Check out one of my videos that are on screen now.